Hi, my name is Toby. I work in finance. Hi, I'm Kai and I'm a UX designer. We have been staying in this place for four and a half years. Uh, the unit size of this is a four-room HDB BTO. We spent in total like 38k on the reno, like through a direct contractor. Yeah, so we didn't hire any ID. I would say that the style of the apartment is uh, is clean, is uh, basic and raw. Uh, most of the inspiration will come from uh, all the different uh, boutique cafes and hostels that we have visited during our travels. Because we love traveling so much, we actually quit our job and. Uh, travel around the world for about seven months. Because we stay in a lot of different uh, hostels and, and Airbnbs, we find that the furniture that they use in their, their rooms are actually handmade. It's not perfect, but there is a certain touch to it. Upcycle is a big thing. So when we came back, we thought that uh, why not uh, bring this idea back to our place. Like, so some of the furniture in the house, we try to use like uh, use uh, wood pallets, recycled wine crates for our display in the living rooms. In our service yard, we just put together like some planks to create for like a fake balcony kind of feel. So it becomes like a cafe by day and a bar by night. <laughs> we are quite firm that we don't want kids. So the whole house is designed around the lifestyle of like both of us only. So we are able to like have that whole office space. The BTO rooms are not big. So in order to create that, right, we actually hack down two rooms to form into like one big room where we kind of try to create a hip and fun office area. Like one side we can work and then we can also have different spots to chill, like the bean bags, we can listen to music, we can rest on the hammock. Even on like switches, sometimes we fumble around to find the right switch. So I thought like why not add an icon to represent the actual lighting and then like with a label. I thought that it would be fun to put a fire alarm as a bell. Yeah, because it's, cause it's very loud and sometimes like when we have deliveries in the morning, we even like jump out of bed like because... <laughs> yeah. Instead of like concealing the bomb shelter, we use chalkboard paint to paint over the door. So we actually plan our meals on a weekly basis so we know like what to cook and shop for and he has, he has become that ever since until today. I think we receive a lot of interesting comments, especially from the older generation. Uh, there, are, there are people who go into our common toilet, so they'll be like, wow, this one looks like a slaughterhouse. So, <laughs> yeah, just things like this are uh, like, we, we, quite funny. But we are not offended, it's just, it's just different, different taste and different style, I guess. Yeah. Don't follow like overly trending themes because like after a while, it will just get dated and you might not like it after a while. Be realistic. Uh, pick a style that uh, resonates with your lifestyle. Your lifestyle might change over the years, so it's also like good to follow that and, and craft the house around it. Uh. Mm. <laughs>